Oh, hi. Welcome back to our DIY den, or DIY layer, as we like to call it. This is another episode of our instructional series on how to make your own gear. And in this episode, we'll be tackling the roll top dry bag kit with Dyneema composite fabric. So if you're ready to learn how to make this little puppy, let's get going. First, let's look at the components included with the roll top dry bag kit. You'll get a laser cut Dyneema composite fabric blank, one inch Dyneema backed adhesive tape for seam sealing, half inch grow grain for buckle attachment, half inch polypro webbing to be used as the roll top stiffener, and an ultralight single side adjustable plastic buckle to close everything up. Now that we've reviewed the contents of the kit, let's get started with the build. Take your Dyneema fabric blank and lay it out on a table as shown with the longer dimension running left to right. Now fold the blank in half. Once folded, use your finger to put a hard crease on the folded edge of the blank. With your blank folded, it's time to head down to the sewing machine and lay down your first stitching along the open side as shown. Starting at the top right of your folded blank, lay down a straight stitch along the side. Be sure to put in a lock stitch whenever you start or stop your stitching by going back and forth over the same line for a few stitches. This makes the stitching stronger and prevents the seam from pulling apart. Go as slow as you need to and try to keep the stitch line straight. One tip we can offer for straight stitching is to align your presser foot with the edge of your fabric as a guide. With the side stitch complete, head back to your work table. Lay out your blank as shown with the newly made side seam centered horizontally. You can find the exact center by matching your stitch side seam up to the creased edge you made before sewing. To keep the side seam centered, you may wish to use a clip like we do here. As you did before, use your finger to put a hard crease on both the left and right sides of the blank as shown. With the side seam centered horizontally, return to the sewing machine and lay down a straight stitch along the bottom of the fabric blank just like you did for the side. Again, be sure to lock stitch at the start and stop of your stitching. Once finished, your blank should look like this. Note that we've explicitly shown the seams in this diagram for clarity. Now let's tape the seams using our 1 inch Dyneema seam tape. Lay out your blank and cut lengths of seam tape to match the side and bottom of the blank as shown. Cut each seam tape section a bit longer than needed to be 100% sure you cover the entire length of the sack when applying the tape. Pack the white protective backing and apply your seam tape along the seams as shown. Go slowly and be sure to apply even pressure as you work your way down the seam. Once finished, trim any excess tape and make one final pass with your finger along all seams, really trying to press down into the stitching to create a solid bond between the tape and fabric blank. With seam taping complete, we're ready to sew in the roll top stiffener, which in this case is half inch poly pro webbing. Start by turning your bag right side out. Take a bit of extra time to push out all material from the corners and really flatten the bag out. Once your bag is flattened, mark the top left and right edges on the open, i.e. unsewn, end of the bag as shown. These marks will be your start, start, start and stop points for attaching the webbing stiffener in just a second. Cut a piece of webbing to match the width of your bag as shown. 
Be sure to attach the stiffener to the side of the bag that has the vertical seam. Now we're ready to attach the webbing stiffener. Before starting, it's important to note that when attaching the webbing, you should not put down any stitching that is off of the webbing and thus through the Dyneema fabric blank. This will leave holes in your material, which is no good. Align your length of webbing on the inside of the bag with the mark you made on the bag's edge previously. Begin stitching down the center of the webbing. Take care to keep your webbing aligned with the edge of your fabric blank while sewing. Once you're at the end of the webbing length, Finish with a lock stitch. A couple things to remember here. One, be sure you are attaching the webbing to the inside of the bag. Again. And two, be sure you are only sewing through one layer of the bag. Don't make the mistake of keeping both layers of Dyneema together and sewing the webbing down on top as this would seal your bag shut. Again, nugget. With the webbing attached, it's time to embed that same webbing inside the top of the bag with a roll hem. If you've made things like stuff sacks before, there's no difference here. Roll the webbing over once, then twice, and lay down a line of stitching along the left edge of the webbing as shown here. Take your time and work slowly. Try to keep the line of stitching as close to the left edge as possible without wandering off of the webbing. Once finished, you should have something that looks like this for a first pass. Now the only thing left is to complete a second pass of stitching along the top right edge as opposed to the left edge of the bag. Once finished, you should have something that looks like this. Alright, buckle time. Head back to your work table and lay out the grow grain plus buckle as shown. Note that we've cut the grow grain in half already in this picture and you should do the same. Take the grow grain sections and thread them through each side of the buckle like so. You may wish to clip the ends. Down at the sewing machine, tack down the grow grain as close as possible to the buckle on both the left and right sides. You should get something that looks like this. With your buckle grow grain assemblies complete, it's time to attach these to your bag. In an effort to begin with the end in mind, here's a picture of what you'll be doing in this step. Basically, we're talking three steps. Number one, first tack stitch. Number two, second tack stitch. And number three, a final X stitch to fully affix the grow grain to the bag. Start by aligning one grow grain buckle assembly with the outside top of the bag as shown. The buckle should be facing away from the webbing stiffener. Now down at the machine, perform step number one. Align your presser foot with the original tack stitch you made when creating the grow grain slash buckle assembly. Put down a tack stitch while taking care to, comp to stay completely on top of the webbing while sewing. Perform step number two the exact same way at the opposite end of the grow grain tab, as shown here. Lastly, perform step number three the X pattern stitching as shown here. All right, guys, so we are done with the roll top dry bag kit and finished product looks like this. I really like this thing, I gotta say. Um, not too big of a departure in terms of skill set for sewing um, from things like easier beginner projects like stuff sacks and whatnot, but you do get to work with new techniques like stiffeners in the roll hem for the closure and buckles. So it's nice in that regard. And it's a really functional piece of gear, so it allows you a compressible storage sack that 
Uh, works for anything you want to keep dry. So loose items like jackets, uh, pants, clothing, um, anything you don't want flopping around your, your pack or your bag. And this is what the, the finished product looks like again. So once you cinch that down or close the buckle and then cinch the roll top down, it's virtually waterproof with uh, the seam tape. So hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time.